We are balancing breaking news on several fronts right now, and we have more back at the House. This potential compromise we've been telling you about to keep Congressman Patrick McHenry in the Speaker's job, at least for now, looks like it might be dead. NBC's Ali Vitale just broke this story. What are you hearing, Ali? Chris, we're hearing exactly what you said, which is that all of these conversations around empowering Speaker McHenry in a bipartisan fashion may be over before they've even hit the House floor. At least on the Republican side, lawmakers have literally used the phrase with us, this thing, th this thing seems dead, just by reading the room in their closed-door GOP conference huddle. And that's not just one member saying that to us. That's five or six key members talking to our team here in the hallway on the record, saying that given the dynamic dynamics within the Republican conference right now, they don't think that they can get the votes together to put this on the floor and have it actually succeed. Now, you can use whatever reference here you want for reincarnation, because here in the House, nothing's ever dead and nothing's ever dead for real. It's spooky season or what is dead may never die. Pick your reference, Chris. It could be reincarnated. At the same time, and as we see someone like Matt Gates here, Congressman, is the resolution to empower McHenry dead at this point? Yeah, it won't be offered by Republicans based on uh, Speaker-designate Jordan's announcement just moments ago. And I think that's a good thing. The House of Representatives needs a Speaker, not a Speaker light. Uh, I don't support using temporary powers uh, for Mr. McHenry, and I'm glad that our arguments seem to be persuasive to our colleagues. But Jordan seemed to back this as his next strategy to give himself the time to cobble together more votes. I mean, this is something he's backed. Well, I, I, I like Jim Jordan. I'm voting for Jim Jordan, but I don't agree with him on every subject. And I certainly don't agree that what would be best for the House of Representatives is a temporary speaker pro tem. I think we need to elect a speaker. I think we've, we've got great folks in our conference. I think Jim Jordan sits atop that list, and I look forward to voting for him again today. And one last question for you, because we are live here right now. How icy was it for you in that room? I heard it got pretty intense. Well, I'm not for everyone, as it turns out, and I have my detractors, but I'm an attorney by trade. I don't get emotional about the presentation of arguments and listening to other people's arguments. It doesn't affect how I think about people. I was there to make the substantive argument that speaker light is a bad idea, just like Bud Light. Um, but, but I far prefer us to continue having votes going forward. And, you know, when I held out with Speaker McCarthy, we had goals. We had specific things we were fighting for. I think a reasonable question to those that are holding out and not voting for Jordan is, what are you fighting for? What are your goals? What are your objectives here other than, to, uh, than just recalcitrance? Thank you so much. We're just going to move our way out of this now, Chris, but it does give you a good sense of what the conversations are behind closed doors and, frankly, that we're having in real time here with members. You have people furious at Gates for the the, doing the motion to vacate for putting these Republican lawmakers, frankly, in the position that they're in right now. Clearly, Gates is holding fast and not deterred in any of his actions, even though we know that the reception that he got in that room has been one of frustration from his colleagues. But I do think that the important thing here is, as much as most of the members that I've talked to, my colleague Scott Wong, Alex Bacayao, all of us have talked to members who say that the resolution to empower McHenry is dead. That being said, our own colleague co colleague Kyle Stewart just in the last 90 seconds or so spoke to a more moderate Republican member who said, hey, wait a minute, this isn't dead yet. So it's really unclear at this point, but I would be surprised given the conversations that I've had to see this resolution come forward on the floor, at least at this point.